श्याम सर सर साथ में सर लेफ्ट में श्याम सर लेफ्ट एक मिनट एक मिनट साथ में मोनी सर के साथ में बोली जी बोली जाइए ना सर सर आपका वेट जल्दी क्या बात है बहुत अच्छा बोली जी आइए सर लेफ्ट में बोले मनोज लोग आपके लेफ्ट में अरे वेट ना भाई क्या नहीं लेफ्ट में लेफ्ट में मोनी जी बोली जी रुकिए मोनी जी एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट मोनी जी सर जी सर जी लंबा जी 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 लंबा है लंबा हो रहे हाँ 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 मोनी जी कमर कमर एकदम थैंक यू हाँ ये भाई गोल मारा नहीं जी उधर जादू है मारा हाथ Welcome, Millie, or should Hello. I say, Janvi? Welcome. Hi, so good hi. to see you. Hi, everyone. Hi. Well, अच्छा मैं जब आई कर रहा था तब नहीं निकल रही थी आवाज़ हैं इतनी मेहनत करनी पड़ रही थी. Millie, Millie, ठीक है. All right. So first of all, you know, uh, before we talk about Millie and this journey, you have to tell us. अभी सुबह सुबह आप कहीं से आए हो and there's this video that's actually broken the internet जहाँ पे आप कह रही हो थक गई हो यार लेकिन मेरे को trailer launch पे पहुँचना है and you personally invited all these wonderful people. What was that about? Yeah, I did. I'm actually very excited to have everyone here. हमने ये film के लिए जैसे कि हर film के लिए करते हैं लेकिन ये film काफी special है क्योंकि हमने इतनी मेहनत लगाई है and it's my first film with my dad. एंड uh, तो हाँ मैं शूट के लिए गई थी जयपुर में शूट कर रही थी नाइट शूट कर रही थी और आई थिंक इट वेंट ऑन फॉर लॉन्गर देन प्लान तो फिर मैं और मेरी टीम सो नहीं पाए और फ्लाइट लेके यहाँ आ गए right. और uh, ऐसे लग रहा कि होश में नहीं है लेकिन पहुँच गए आप सब से मिलने के लिए और आप सबको ट्रेलर दिखाने के लिए एंड यू लुकिंग एज फ्रेश एज एवर गिव इट अपर मिली लेज एंड जर्मन यू नो वन वन क्वेश्चन दैट आई वॉज नॉट सपोज टू आस्क लेकिन मैं साइड से पूछ लेता हूँ वॉट इज दैट वन कूलेस्ट थिंग अबाउट बोनी कपूर द प्रोड्यूसर द कूलेस्ट थिंग द प्रोड्यूसर the producer because i definitely think he's the coolest dad uh i think that he um empowers people's creative visions yes. and doesn't question it and what about his smile you know there were a lot of cts and talis for that yeah matlab jo welcome mila that was amazing so so talking about milly please mere ko bolo kya hua kahan gum ho gayi kahan dab gayi kahan chhip gayi what is happening tell us uske liye sir aapko trailer dekhna padega aur uske baad film dekhna padega please as cold as ever yaar what do i say so uh, are we all set for the trailer of milly ladies and gentlemen we'll have to make some more noise for that all right so all eyes on the big screen please uh, be seated janvi and yes it's the trailer of milly for the first time for all you wonderful people here let's see kya hone wala hai kaise hone wala hai hey
on a on a uh, lighter note you know uh, i want to ask you janvi like what do you have to say about this character that you had to play as as i said you know there's a lot of silence here like har kisi ki bolti band ho gayi isko dekh ke how challenging was it for you it was very challenging actually main jab ye stage pe entry kar rahi thi unhone kaha ki aapko ek freezer mein dalenge ek freezer ka mock dummy banaya hai and i was like yeah yeah cool it'll be cool literally and uh, then when they put me in it i remembered what it was like when we were shooting the film um for 21 days actually unhone ek asli freezer build kiya tha jo ki माइनस टू से माइनस फाइव डिग्रीज पे चलते रहता था हमेशा और माइनस टेन माइनस टेन पे चलते रहता था और वो बहुत मुश्किल था क्योंकि हम तकरीबन एक दो बार माइनस पंद्रह भी गया था माइनस पंद्रह भी गया था और मैं बस बीमार हो गया था ये <laughs> ये बीमार हो गए थे मुझे कुछ वायरल हो गया था सब एक कर एक एक करके दे वो ऑल फॉलोइंग लाइक डोमिनोज बिकॉज इट वॉज वेरी टफ एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी ग्रूलिंग शूट बट एट द एंड ऑफ इट वो शूट खत्म करने के बाद एक ऐसी ग्रेटिफाइंग uh, फीलिंग आई थी कि हमने कुछ मुश्किल किया है और कुछ uh, दिल से ट्राई करने की कोशिश की है एंड आई थिंक विद मातू सर्स गाइडेंस इट इट फेल्ट गुड एंड होपफुली आप लोगों को फिल्म देख के वो एक्सपीरियंस वो अनुभव अच्छा लगेगा वाह क्या बात है ऑफ कोर्स बहुत अच्छा लगा और इसीलिए ऐसा रिस्पॉन्स यहाँ पे मिला है प्लीज टेल अस यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द ब्यूटिफुल जानवी कपूर इट्स अबाउट द एक्टर जानवी कपूर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल है हर एक फिल्म के साथ यू प्रूव योर सेल्फ एज अ ब्रिलियंट एक्टर वट डू यू है ऑन दैट मतलब कोशिश जारी है और अभी सिर्फ आई होप के ये सिर्फ स्टार्ट है और मैं उठती बैठती जो भी हर वक्त मेरे दिमाग में यही है कि मैं मेरे कला में आगे कैसे बढ़ूँ और मेहनत कैसे करूँ और अपने माँ बाप का नाम कैसे रोशन करूँ और आप सबको ये कैसे महसूस कराऊँ कि हाँ इसे जो भी मौके मिले हैं लाइफ में वो इस चीज़ की हकदार है तो वो कोशिश हमेशा जारी रहेगी जारी रहेगी और बहुत अच्छे से जारी रहेगी यार श्योर यहाँ पे बोनी साल कम टू यू बिफोर आई मूव ऑन टू हर ऑन स्क्रीन फादर पावा साहब सब टेल मी हाउ प्राउड आई यू as a father and a producer like of course she's this brilliant actor she's starring in this movie of yours so as a father and as an uh, as a producer what do you have to say well can't you make her from my expressions today <laughs> is a very special day and she's she's done phenomenally well in this film and not just this film she's grown from film yes. to film and i think this film has brought her closer to peak i mean not that this this would be an end i'm sure she'll yes. outgrow the kind of uh, burden that she carries being sri's daughter she is she is going to carve her own niche which she has begun very well yes. by playing various various kind of characters yes. starting with dhadak then gunjan then the short film she Papa did papa tareef bas kar aur lagta hai jab father bol rahe hain नहीं पर जो फैक्ट है बोलने में क्या है ठीक है ओके सॉरी मैं मैं ऐसा ही हूं जो है बोलता हूँ नहीं अच्छा तो नहीं अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है सर जिस, जिस दिन तुम बुरा काम करोगे तो तुमको पहले घर पे बोलूंगा और बाद में अगर कोई मीडिया वाले मेरे से पूछेंगे तो उनको भी यही कहूंगा यस आई एग्री विद यू मीडिया को ही बोलूंगा मैं वेल दिस इज हाउ फादर फील्स एज ए प्रोड्यूसर आई एम डेफिनेटली डिलाइटेड विद आउटकम ऑफ द फिल्म द फर्स्ट टाइम डायरेक्टर नेशनल अवार्ड मिले मातुकुटी इज एन अ ब्रिलियंट जॉब He is even taking care of minutest detail in every aspect, right. whether it is performance, whether it is set, whether it is music, whether it is writing, whether it is locations. It's it's his brilliance which will be seen on screen, and of course he's complimented by Rahman Sahab, yes. by Javed Akhtar's magical writings. Yes. and not to forget the actors she's she's had i mean janvi is lucky to be blessed to get you know performers like manoj to play her real life father yeah. and i think seeing him i somehow somewhere felt that this is how even i would emote so that that's how good he is wow. and then acting with sunny who is absolutely brilliant in the film and so are the the other actors yeah. you know even the cop who's there the the senior inspector sanjay suri so there are quite a few elements which which uh, help the entire look of the film yeah. 
and have given the shape to the film the way it is now. Right. And I hope the way I'm excited, the audience also gets as excited and happy as, as I've got after seeing the film. Hoping for the best, keeping fingers crossed. Absolutely. So we just saw the excitement over here. We, we saw the response that we've got, Manoj. See, he just said it, Aag laga do. that's what he says. So, <laughs> Manoj, sir, this one's for you. Please tell us, you know, playing uh, Janvi's on-screen father, and not just that, you know, there's this beautiful bond. Is they are so close to each other, and then they What do you have to say about all this? I will tell you that thanks for the script and the director of the film. I will tell you that 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 I will tell बड़े सास के बेटे बेटियों के साथ काम करते हैं तो हमारे अंदर एक हिचक होती है but she was so cool she was so nice कि पहले दिन से ही मुझे कोई problem नहीं हुई और एकदम बहुत अच्छी chemistry हम लोगों की बनी और hopefully आपको film के अंदर वो नजर भी आएगी thank you so much sir thank you so much and now moving on to जावेद साहब sir welcome so good to see you and it's such an honour कि आप यहाँ पर आए हम सब के बीच sir Hello. Being a part of this this massive project with Janvi, of course, Boni sir and Mathu sir, Manoj sir and the entire cast. What do you have to say, sir? Look, there is a saying that people who are in the army are also in the army. So I also have the army. I have only written a song in the picture. And I must say that it's a very powerful, very effective film. Uh, it's cold, but when it will be released, it will be hot. Yes. So... Uh, और आई विल डेफिनेटली कंसोलिडेट द डायरेक्टर देख होता क्या है हमारे यहाँ हिंदी पिक्चरों में मेन स्ट्रीम में खास तौर से कि हम ये भी डाल दो वो भी डाल दो ये कर दो इतना करते हैं कि हम उसको बिल्कुल मेल्ट कर देते हैं कहानी को उसको एकदम पानी बना देते हैं लेकिन वो कम लोग होते हैं जिनका हौसला होता है और भरोसा होता है उन्हें अपनी कहानी पर और अपने कैरेक्टर्स पर कि दे स्टिक टू द मेन लाइन एंड दे डोंट डाइवर्ट दैट मेक्स द फिल्म पावरफुल और ये बहुत ही मतलब रिवेटिंग फिल्म है। You just cannot take your eyes away from the screen once it starts. That is the credit to the director. Superb job, so well edited film. And then of course Janvi is exceptional and so is Pava Saab. ये बहुत ही अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस था। और मैं आपसे एक सीक्रेट शेयर करता हूँ। मुझे जब बोनी साहब ने बताया कि हम पावा साहब को इस रोल में ले रहे हैं तो मैंने कहा क्या कर रहे हो भाई ऐसा मत करो इसलिए कि मैंने उनको देखा था जोया की फिल्म में दूसरी फिल्म में वेर ही हैज प्लेड वेरी लाइट हार्टेड रोल्स एंड ही वाज सो गुड तुमने भाई यही करते होंगे तो मगर वो समझ में बात आई कि अगर आप अच्छे सिंगर हैं तो किसी भी सुर में गा लेते हैं तो उसी तरह से अच्छा एक्टर जो है किसी भी रोल में ढल जाता है एंड ही हिज परफॉर्मेंस इज अनबिलीवेबली गुड तो ये जो इन दोनों की बाप बेटी की फिल्म में जुगल बंदी है, वो it has reached what is considered to be a mirage perfection. It really has reached perfection. और I am sure that once you will start watching the film, you will not breathe till the film ends. Wow. Thank you so much, sir. Let me add one more thing. जब जावेद साहब कुछ एनेक्डोट्स बता रहे हैं पिक्चर बनने से पहले शुरू में उसपे क्या हुआ था मनोज साहब का किस्सा सुनाया जब मैंने इनसे कहा हम सनी को कास्ट करें तो जावेद साहब कह रहे यार बहुत अच्छा एक्टर है मैंने उसकी हाल में कौन सी पिक्चर दी थी आपने जिक्र भी किया उस पिक्चर का हाँ इसे याद नहीं जरा घबरा गया हूँ मैं सोच तो ये भी एक था छिपावा मतलब जब जावेद सब की जो रिएक्शन है इट डिंट एंड विद मनोज इट एंडेड विद सनीज कास्टिंग राइट राइट थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर शेयरिंग दैट एंड नाउ द मैन ऑफ द आवर गिव इट अप फॉर सर एक बार माथुर सर के लिए जोरदार तालियां हो जाए कम ऑन नो दिस इज हाउ वी वेलकम हिम Hindi films, mein, sir, welcome. So good to see you and congratulations on your National Film Award, sir. Today we will give you a lot of Thank you so much. Another major contributor to this film is not present here. 
by his representative is there. AR has really done a great job. Great job. Chahe wo gaane ho, chahe uska background ho. Tab malum hota hai jab aap sunte hai ki AR Rahman ko AR Rahman kyu kehte hai. Koi reason hoga na. Ko ye hai. Thank you so much sir. Is film ka music. Is film ka music. Gaane aur background. Dono. Sir, uh, jo main pooch raha tha aap se, you know, we have to talk about these stalwarts, you know, and the response that we've just got. Everybody is talking about this director, the the visionary, jin ki vision humne yahan pe dekhi. What do you have to say about all this? Uh, I'm really not used to a lot of people. I'm really <laughs> nervous actually. Uh, but uh, it was, uh, I, it might not be fair to say about my own film, but I uh, I can say that we have worked like we have never been. Lazy a single day, like th that I can <laughs> I promise you. So I hope it translates to a good film. I'm, we really hope. As a team, we everybody, we have never been lazy a single day. I hope it as well. The can whole team. Can we have Sunil on the stage to hear <laughs> the DOP of the film? Welcome, sir. And we would like Hiral also to come yes, as yes, a representative yes. of A.R. Rahman. She is no, the please, please, supervisor. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Look, as I said to you, if I have only cut my fingers, then those who have kept my fingers, you can talk to them. I will go to you. Sir, you can't give me such a chance, sir. The price of your fingers is also very expensive, sir. Right? Sit. And I must thank my old dear friends, Satish Kaushik and Rumi Jafri, to be here and to be here. Yes. To wish the team of Millie, Satish Kaushik and Rumi Jafri, to be here and to be here. They've been with me throughout for many, many years, and uh, I can, I can, you know, if they wouldn't have been here, I would have missed them a lot. Right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for being here. And of course, I'm going to talk to you. One thing, I have a secret to ask you too, Boni sir. But first of all, yeah, it's over to you. Uh, we'll take the questions from the wonderful rock stars. Yeah. Sir, give mic. Thank you. Can I ask or somebody is asking? Uh, uh, can I? I'll come to you, ma'am. Uh, hi, hi, good I'll evening. Mayuri here from uh, Beyond Bollywood. Uh, hi. Uh, firstly, I think uh, congratulations to all of you all and to you, Janvi. I have to say, you know, I'd like to give you a warm, very warm hug. You know, obviously you have done a film, but uh, I know, you know, in 2017, I was in Dharamshala and I went up to, uh, atop the mountain and I did not carry my warm clothes, my thermal wear, and I nearly died of hypothermia. Obviously, looking at you uh, in the trailer, you know, it uh, rekindled those uh, freezing scenes for me. Uh, so, I just have two lighthearted questions, you know. Firstly, like watching this trailer, uh, can we say that now Janvi Kapoor is the new Ice Ice Baby? Ice Ice Baby? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to call me that, you're free to. But, yeah, because obviously, uh, there was a popular 90s song, uh, American rapper song, Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, no, yeah, of course, I know. No, if you're saying it as a compliment, I'll take it. I love compliments. So, anything you say, I'll take. And second, my question to you, Janvi, is uh, usually, obviously, I think, uh, you know, there is the public, there is the media. But I would assume that mostly, you know, most actors, you know, they are the best judge of their own performance. Uh, but can we say that this is for the first time where an actor would measure his or her performance in terms of in the unit of Fahrenheit or <laughs> degree Celsius? I guess so. Uh, but it's funny you said that because uh, just then, the freezer mein temperature was the low in the freezer. उस दिन मैं जानती थी कि आज परफॉर्मेंस दर्द सही सही में अंदर से आने वाला है आज का परफॉर्मेंस सही होगा अगर टेम्परेचर नीचे कर रहा है सो आई गेस हाय हाय दिस इज सीमा आई वांट टू आस्क द डायरेक्टर एंड जानवी जानवी यू सीम टू लाइक टेकिंग दिस चैलेंजेस वे टू सरवाइव इन डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन लाइक show that you have to survive <laughs> <laughs> i do ma'am i think that for me uh doing roles that are as different as possible and um that make me feel like oh here's an opportunity where i can push myself and surprise myself hopefully is always exciting to me if i feel like i've shown up for a jog i mean not for a jog for a job um and uh i'm going through the beats of it in a way that seems familiar to me and i'm not really growing f from it i feel like that defeats the purpose of being an actor and i think the audiences deserve and expect more than that from me so mm -hmm. i need to push myself okay i want to ask the director like yeah. since you have directed uh, both uh, malayalam and all this 
Is there any difference there? I mean, you have to keep in mind that this is for a different audience and you have to show it this way. Any any kind of uh, yeah. change you made? Uh, what we did was actually uh, the writer who wrote uh, Raid and Pink, no sir, yeah, uh, Ritesh sir, Ritesh sir, uh, he uh, introduced me to him. I gave him the script and I said, structurally, keep it safe. Uh, but the heart of it, keep it here. Because otherwise it will never connect. I will not be able to connect to the very tiny nuances for sure because I'm coming from there. And what we used to do is that Janvi, like from the beginning when she got the script, she'll she'll come to the office and every day, we didn't know she, why she was coming every day. And we used to wonder why she's coming every day. And she used to come with the script and sit in front of us and uh, I'm not very... I'm not a very people person, so there was no ice breaking, nothing because I, I was nervous uh, because we did a very small film and then came here. So um, then she's like, second day I asked, uh, uh, then she asked, are we not uh, reading the script? Like, like, then no, we do that on on the on the day of the shoot. So why? Uh, then third day also she would bring the script. We'll put some situations. We'll do acting, and and she used to get nervous. And the final day, I think fifth day or something, she told. You are responsible for this if the shoot delays because on the day I'm not gonna learn my lines and come. What we did was that on the set, uh, like we read it once. I asked her and the people around whom I trusted in the set, um, like about which of these dialogues didn't seem out of uh, uh, which of these dialogues, if they seem out of your house, do tell me. So it's it's based on the trust of each person in the set who know this place than me is upon like the reality of the script and each scene is built upon that. And I used to ask Janvi, do you say, that, uh, say this at house? If, if you don't say it, you tell me. So that's how we tried to. So that's why I'm telling like uh, the core of it is from the core of the team. So I think it'll connect. I hope I hope. Hi, Janvi. Hi, Janvi. hi I'm side. sorry, I can't see uh, you. Hi. 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 Janvi, when you picked up Dharak, uh, it was already out in Marathi. You uh, gave life to a character. We had oh. Helen out there. You gave life to Millie. Does it put pressure on you as a performer that somebody who might would have seen the initial product will start comparing you even from the word go? They won't even wait for your performance to come to the screen. I guess so, ma'am. But uh, honestly, with me, that happens anyway. Uh, so I try not looking at it in such a calculative way. I had seen Helen and um, I was honestly very thrilled about working with a maker like Mathu sir, who um, made what some people would call a small film, but with so much finesse and so much uh, passion and heart, I think. And uh, that was the excitement in it for me. And I thought that it was something new and challenging. And so I took it up and I also felt like, uh, Helen hadn't reached a lot of audiences in the North because it hadn't been dubbed and released. So I didn't think of it like that. And I also took it up as, uh, see, even when you get a script, you're getting a character written by someone else and then you're interpreting it. So I kind of look at it like that. I'm getting something that was interpreted by someone else a certain way and then I'm getting a fresh version of it and I get to interpret it my way. And that's what I've tried to do. Can I add my one bit to your question? and perhaps take you to something which has happened in the past. You know, Mother India was a remake of its own version. And Nargis finally went on to bag, I mean, all the major awards and the film went on to become the biggest success. In fact, in the single screen days, whenever a new theater was to open, they used to open with Mother India because 28 shows houseful was a guarantee. And nowhere in Nargis Ji's performance you saw the nuances of Sardar Akhtar who had done the original Aurat. So it's, it, it depends entirely on the actor who's doing the present job. And uh, there is no way the influences can interfere with the, with the new actor doing this particular role, which has been done earlier. It's, it's the machinery inside which has got to work. You've got to feel every bit of the character. And that's what is important. It's, what's important is that the character has got to become what the part requires it to become. Yeah. Uh, hi, this is Sohail over here from Instant Bollywood. Uh, Bonnie Ji, Janvi, you all have congratulations on the entire team. Uh, I have two questions. First of all, sir, you have 
कि जानवी इस ग्रेट परफॉर्म हम देख सकते हैं कि ना उन्होंने जैसे आपने कहा था कि शेज यू नो उनके परफॉर्मेंस डे बाय डे हम देख सकते हैं शी बहुत उम्दा होते जा रहे हम जानवी को देखते हैं तो श्री देवी जी की याद आ ही जाती है डेफिनेटली यू नो व्हाट डू यू फील मुझे देख के नहीं याद आती आपको सिर्फ जानवी को देख के याद आती है आपको तो है लेकिन यू नो हम जानवी में श्री देवी जी को ही देखते हैं इनफैक्ट लेकिन उतना पोटेंशियल उनमें है What have you to say on, say on that thing? You asking me? Yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, well, you see, everybody has a, has a different mechanism to understand a character and to, you know, perform accordingly. I wouldn't say perform to become the part. That was one of the major USP of Sri, and that is another. I mean, this is the same thing because perhaps she carries the same DNA. She also picks up the character or rather gets into into the character and. doesn't play the part becomes a part and which is why you've seen the growth in the films that she's done so far yeah uh jani what have you to say like you know how much you feel yourself you know you seeing your mom ya unki filme aapne dekhi hoge definitely we have seen you like and she had been so caring about you all like you know the way she used to nurture you all humne bahut dekha you know aapko i'll just inter- incidentally you see the audience in north india saw sri after she had Done almost 150 to 200 films in South. Yeah. So she had reached a particular level of, uh, yeah. you know, understanding what characters are and how each beat has got to be captured or you know understood. So she came here after doing 200 films in the yeah. South. My baby has just started a journey. So don't don't put her into any kind of a comparison with any of the. Uh, you know work of her mother you know as i told you Jee. she also had a journey which was brilliant she started as a child star but most of the north indians saw her after she had done 200 more than 200 films but she has, she has reached actually you know matlab hum to bahut hi un matlab dekh rahe hain unme actually mujhe lag acha mujhe puch raha hai ki kabhi aise life mein aise koi situation aayi hai jaise ye kaise life mein bahut tough situation tha it could be anything on the set could be anything anything where you remember you know It was a very difficult thing. If you would like to share anything on it. Actually, ये शूट के दौरान जब हम फ्रीजर का पोर्शन शूट कर रहे थे, मैं बहुत ही बीमार पड़ गई थी. और काफी दिनों के लिए actually मुझे ऐसे लगता था कि मैं होश में नहीं हूँ क्योंकि मैं इतने medicines ले रही थी and I and we had already gone overboard because the freezer shoot was so tough on so many people and I just remember that last stretch being very very mentally and physically exhausting because uh, the way we started playing it and mathu sir you can chip in if you have anything to say also we um, we would start running really long takes to humne pehle jaise imagine kiya tha ke 5 minute ka scene karke bahar aake 1 minute ka break leke wapas karke karne jayenge but then we ended up running 15 15 minute long takes where i'd go through the entire action and uh, and there was a lot of crying breaking screaming and it was uh, it was a lot jahan <laughs> bhi let, let me let me let me also add this you see while they were shooting the freezer portion i mean there were quite a few people who fell ill recovered and all that but jahan bhi fell ill recovered um the director matukuti xavier Mat- muttukuti xavier <laughs> matukuti xavier okay he fell ill he had just recovered from covid so the immunity was not that strong which is the reason he he got affected by the cold uh, i mean the freezer shoot and i, I think almost for four or five days a week six days he was you know bedridden in the hotel and then the do- doctor told him you are not to enter the freezer and since the doctor knows the film world he said you can see the monitor from outside So he said, "Yes, yes, 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 yes. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that." And he stayed outside for precisely ten minutes of the first day, and then he was inside, inside. the freezer. Like a buckler, monkey cap, all those things. He never got out of it. And yeah. then, then again, you feel ill for the second time also. Yes. So, so this is what his, uh, you know, creativity or the kind of person he is, the kind of director is. He didn't want any loose ends, any anything to be missed out, and he had to be there. to give instruction even when the camera was on you know when you see the film you'll realize you know there are so many delicate movements so many intricate movements she falls you know there are too many things which required detailing and he felt that detailing cannot be explained or pointed out if he's sitting on the monitor so he had to be in there where the action happens 
and so he fell sick again and i was <laughs> lucky that it didn't happen the third time jahan bhi mera sawal aap se hai yahan jahan bhi ji ji mera sawal aap se ye hai abhi do thima ne bhi ye pucha aur sohel ji ne bhi ye pucha shri devi ji se aapko compare kiya lekin shri devi ji bhi star rehte hue unhone experimental films mein bahut kaam kiya जैसे सदमाई ले लें मॉम जो उनकी लास्ट फिल्म थी वो भी ले लें तो आपने भी स्टार होते हुए एक्सपेरिमेंटल फिल्म्स को जिस तरीके से चैलेंजिंग uh, रोल्स को लेना है ये डेलिब्रेटली था या फिर ऐसी कोई इंसिडेंटली आपको मिलते गए मैम आई थिंक जैसे कि मैंने पहले भी कहा uh, मेरे लिए थ्रिल और एक्साइटमेंट इसी चीज़ में है कि मैं अलग अलग टाइप के फिल्म्स करूं, अलग अलग किरदारों को निभाने की कोशिश करूं और उनके ज़रिए आई कैन लिव डिफरेंट लाइव्स एंड लर्न न्यू थिंग्स एंड ग्रो एंड देखिए स्टार वार बनना बहुत अच्छा है और uh, उसमें मज़ा भी बहुत आता है लेकिन मुझे एक्टर बनना है और हमेशा से बचपन से यही ख्वाहिश रही है कि मैं एक्टर बनूँ और आई थिंक एक्टर बनने के लिए किरदारों को ईमानदारी से और सच्चाई से निभाने की कोशिश करनी चाहिए मनोज जी आपसे एक सवाल है कि पहले गुंजन में भी इनकी जो बाप बेटी की जोड़ी है वो बहुत अप्रिशिएट की गई थी जी और फिल्म का जो मेन फोकस था वो बाप बेटी के रिलेशन पर ही था जी बिल्कुल इसमें भी वैसा ही नजर आ रहा है तो क्या आपने आपको थोड़ा सा वो था कि कंपेयर होगा कि नहीं नहीं इस तरह से देखिए इस तरह से कभी कोई सोचता नहीं है वो उन्होंने बहुत अच्छा काम किया पंकज त्रिपाठी जी वेरी गुड एक्टर वेरी फाइन एक्टर वो फिल्म भी मैंने देखी हुई थी और उसमें केमिस्ट्री कमाल की थी बट जब आपको आपको जब काम मिलता है तो आप उसको बिल्कुल अलग तरीके से अप्रोच करते हैं ये सोचते नहीं है कि उससे कंपेरिजन होगा ये उससे कंपेरिजन होगा मैं एज एन एक्टर मेरे को लगता है कि जब मेरे को ये फिल्म मिली तो मुझे आई वॉज सो हैप्पी एंड आई सेट के इतनी अच्छी स्क्रिप्ट है इतनी अच्छी ये कहानी है तो आई शुड पुट माई हंड्रेड परसेंट दैट्स इट उतना ही सोचा एंड आई वॉज विद द डायरेक्टर मुझे लगा कि जो उनका विजन है उसको मुझे फॉलो करना है और आगे पीछे उधर कुछ देख नहीं गया आई वॉज देयर विद द डायरेक्टर हाय गाइस हिमेश दिस साइड फ्रॉम पिंक विला हाय कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन द ट्रेलर फर्स्टली हाई हाई क्वेश्चन फॉर बोनी जी एंड मनोज सर एक्चुअली पहले सब मुझे बताओ ट्रेलर कैसा लगा ये तो अच्छा ट्रेलर है हाँ सुना नहीं दे रहा मुझे हाँ चलिए हाँ आप पूछे हिमेश पूछो सर यू नो सर यू नो द फिल्म इज एक्चुअली अ फादर डॉटर स्टोरी इफ यू इफ यू लुक एट इट एंड यू आर आल्सो मेकिंग योर एक्टिंग डेब्यू डिड यू एवर थिंक ऑफ एक्टिंग इन दिस फिल्म नो Well, I would have been a nervous wreck with uh, Janvi around because, she, in, as it is, she, she, you know, she's she's a perfectionist like a mother, and ये perfectionist का कीड़ा मेरे में भी है. तो दो perfection एक set पे एक दूसरे के खाली हम लोग एक दूसरे का खाली you know negative points से ढूंढते रहेंगे या एक दूसरे की टांग खींचते रहेंगे. और दूसरा ये कि भाई I am not an accomplished actor to play this kind of a part because this part is a very challenging. See, जो मैं Love Ranjan की फिल्म में कर रहा हूँ, it's a very Light-hearted film. It's it's basically a character which is not intense. Papa is basically playing Papa <laughs> in Love Sir's film. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't doing anything. I was just playing myself. Uh, and uh, Manoj sir, for for you, what were the reference point uh, to play this character? Did you take any uh, cue from the real life bond that she shares with? नहीं किसी रेफरेंस की जरूरत नहीं है ये कहानी है बाप है बेटी है वो है और ऐसे जब आप एक रिलेशनशिप ऐसा है ये मैं भी बाप हूँ एक बेटी का बाप हूँ एक बेटे का बाप हूँ तो आई अंडरस्टैंड ये बेसिक की मोशन है कि आपके आपका जो एक बच्चा है वो कहाँ है किस मुसीबत में है आप को इसके अंदर बहुत ज्यादा रेफरेंस के भाई मेरे को कोई ऐसा रेफरेंस ये इमोशन ऐसा है जो आप अगर आप जाएंगे इसके अंदर तो ऑटोमेटिकली जो है वो बाहर निकलेगा और इतने अच्छे खूबसूरत सीन्स हैं इतने लिखे हुए इतने अच्छे सीन्स हैं स्क्रिप्ट इतनी सुंदर है आपको सिर्फ उसको सिर्फ फील करना है आपको उसको कैरेक्टर प्ले जैसे मोहित जी ने कहा कि आपको हो जाना है उस सिचुएशन में बन जाना वो तो वो ऑटोमेटिकली वर्क करेगा आई थिंक तो आप देख के बताएंगे हाय जानवी दिस इज तिताश हाय हाय 
Hi, I'm Titash from News 18. Hi. Uh, so this uh, is the first film where you're collaborating with yeah. your father. This is like in the capacity of an actor and producer. Uh, how was that experience like? Did it give you more time to bond with him? Because usually, I'm sure you both keep busy in your own individual ways. It did actually. So what had happened was uh, I'd gotten so used to. being around him all the time during the lockdown and before that we really didn't get to spend much time together once i started working and then slowly when i started shooting for jerry i realized that oh no like real life is starting again and i i don't know how much time i'll get to spend with him but because of milly we um i think we got to know each other in a new capacity and uh, it's it's been fun i'm thankful not only because i got to spend so much time with him as a daughter but because i got to experience what it's like to work with boni kapoor as a as a producer also uh, so uh, secondly uh, both boni sir and khushi they are more both foreign into acting now is the conversation at the dining table a lot about the craft actually not so much um sometimes i don't know papa is it i feel like we haven't had very yeah, long it's only it's only after you know for instance when we i mean when we've seen janvi's films of course my film nobody has seen <laughs> i've seen <laughs> only i know what i'm doing or what i've done or maybe the, the crew of that film knows but janvi's films have released if uh, so we have uh, spoken about her work and discussed quite a few things and uh, and uh, khushi did participate and now when khushi's teaser came out and that uh, complete introduction uh, song with the t whatever you call you know uh, zoya calls it a kya bolte usko sizzler she calls it a sizzler so when that came out we again sat together and i mean of course there was nothing to criticize because it, it was just amazing and we all enjoyed watching it and we discussed only the good points because i could just see good points in it and uh, same happens whenever i see janvi's film or whenever me and khushi see janvi's film films i think so, discussion is honestly off late it's been mostly about dates where are you between this and this date okay i'm here okay you're there okay maybe we'll get two days in the middle to spend time together it's mostly always about dates these days yeah like I was in Chennai, and she happened to come to Chennai for a photo shoot, and she had to leave the same evening, same night. From the car, she was crying and saying, "Dad, I wish I had stayed back. Yeah. Dad, I wish I had stayed back." So, and while she was shooting at home in Chennai, we hardly chatted with each other because she was busy shooting across, you know, around the whole house, and I was up in my room. I didn't want to come and poke my nose in what was happening down, and. Uh, after the shoot was over she barely spent a few minutes with me and she just said i'm in a rush i've got a flight to catch she didn't realize that she had not spent any time with me but from the car after she left home she was crying saying dad i wish i had stayed back i wish i had stayed back so this is something which has happened and i think will continue happen because i mean for me all my four children like for instance now arjun and anshula are abroad we try and connect every day you know speak to both of them and same with them chatting or talking i talk i don't believe in chatting i talk they chat and sometimes talk so this thing will continue and this is what perhaps is the joy left in my life just interacting with my children all four of them and i'm blessed that all four of them love me more than what i hoped for uh, all right we'll take one last question right hi my my yes ma'am please my question is to the director Uh, this is neeti roy from Hi. finni beat sir if i am not wrong uh, you were approached thrice for the hindi remake of helen so what was the different this time that you chose to uh, direct this film uh, sorry uh, previous we were approached earlier for the same yeah. film by some other producer thrice actually yeah, <laughs> he just liked me and papa better <laughs> he, he preferred to i mean he was waiting for the right opportunity and the right op- opportunity he thought was working with janvi and boni kapoor and of that's course that's like let him let him say uh, like uh, i was approached by two people actually so but one person said um like a first call was that throughout the script no the whole structure everything change and change and change and, and it, was, it was a completely different film then i said i don't want to do it then another person called 
and uh, then i told one thing like uh, i need the structure as it is because it's a core which we had worked for years no because to do that again we'll need years to work on it no each script is like that no so then i told then he said okay but then i said uh, we'll we'll shoot in um, minus temperature we shot it in minus temperature i want to shoot it in minus temperature because when you move around no you will lose the shiver everything because when you are concentrating on the action lifting things and stuff you will you cannot do this together when you are shivering your jaws and doing action that doesn't go along so uh, when i said that no 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 big big actor it is you cannot do all those things here then i'm like oh, 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 okay then then i said i'm not doing it then later is when bonisa called me and then bonisa called me i didn't know him personally i told him sir the structure i want you to make the film like you made it there you come here like like that was the brief like no change you, i want i want how you made it there and and since then i must i must say it was like a what do you call a strange producer i must say because 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 i'm not um, over exaggerating it because uh, you saw the teaser no end may there is this janvi's reveal shot that's taken using a robotic arm so um, so i went to him that was not used in helen so i went to him and i told him sir there is this bolt uh, robotic arm which i it's so it's a camera setup it's so uh, and uh, what is it and then i said i want to reveal like this and this and then. okay then he looks at you and see if you're confident about what you're telling <laughs> he, he looks at you sharply and do you think it will be nice uh, he he'll expect the s yes, how much confidence i have on the s he will get it granted yeah sir it will look amazing okay give ball to whatever arm he wants like like, like so i mean and he thinks if the film is like if film is not um if he doesn't spend cash no he thinks it's cheap so uh, so yeah. that way it is like very strange yeah. Yeah. thank you so much thank you so much ladies and gentlemen एक क्लास ले लो सर आपने कह दिया हाँ थैंक यू आज श्रीदेवी जी का काफी बार जिक्र हुआ मुझे आपके जब भी जिक्र हो रहा था आपके आंख में देख के थोड़ा इमोशनल आप लग रहे थे बट बायोपिक की मैं बात करूं यू आर डूइंग अ बायोपिक आई नो दैट इन फ्यूचर बट श्रीदेवी जी की कभी भी बायोपिक आती है इन फ्यूचर सो आई यू ओके टू डू दैट नो आई वु क्यू सर अभी वो बहुत लंबा आंसर है और मुझे भूख लगी है अगर आप छोटे से और मुझे रोना नहीं है स्टेज पे अच्छा दिन है तो अवॉइड करता है भूख के आगे सर ऐसे कैसे भूख के आगे जीत है थैंक यू सो मच लाइस एंड जेलमैन यू गाइस वर ऑसम एंड कंग्रेचुलेशंस टू दिस अमेजिंग टीम क्यों कर रहे हो हां लव आई वुड आई वुड आल्सो लाइक टू थैंक श्याम कौशल जी हु हैज यू नो वर्क्ड विद मी इन द पास्ट इन माय लास्ट टू फिल्म्स एंड टुडे ही इज हियर रिप्रेजेंटिंग हिज सन सनी I'm glad he could make it and I'm glad he's here. Sanvi picture All right for the final photo up we'll just remove the chairs and then अच्छा सन्नी कांड काम बिकॉज ही इज शूटिंग इन इंदौर इट इज़ हिज फर्स्ट डे फॉर ए न्यू फिल्म पर उनकी सन्नी की तरफ से उसने मेरे को बोला पापा जरूर बोलना 
Bonnie ji, thank you for making him such a, a part of such a beautiful film. Really, really. Mutukuti, he has thanked you. Really, I am so blessed he is a part of this film. And Bonnie ji, thank you for that. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. And Bonnie ji, he was telling that Bonnie ji, he was telling that he was telling that Bonnie ji, he was telling that he was telling that he was telling that he was telling that he he is the only producer who 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 is the only producer. And he always incites you to spend money on the film. Thank you, Boni Ji. It is not to spend money, it is to get the best. And gone are the days where I like to spend money. But that passion to get the best remains and will remain till my last breath. So sweet, so sweet. You said it, sir. Yeah. Otherwise, everybody would have been like, sir.